so basically, Subway Surfers. Yo! Man, Subway Surfers used to be my game back in my day. Bro, you're not even that old. Shut up. Anyway. You already know about like 30 to 50 years ago, back then when I was a child, I used to pester my mom to play Subway Surfers. And yes, I was definitely one of those you got games over kids. Ain't got no shame about it. Now, Subway Surfers never really made sense to me because, one, how is a little child joking out trains running for the police casually? Two, where's the realism? Not only is this kid on a hoverboard, these trains are way too close and going at a million miles per hour. And there are two stop trains right in front of them. Do they expect Spider-Man to stop these trains each single time? Mode. Anyways, I admit though, Subway Surfers got one of the best OSTs ever created. But apparently Subway Surfers influence is so high that people started doing it in real life. Might as well try it out. Hear ye, hear ye. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get this straight. I think it's time for a boo lore theory. Jake, the main character, always running away from this cop. Now, why is that, you ask? <laughs> because this cop used to f his mom. What? Sorry, date. But they only dated for a week. Where'd they meet? <laughs> On the subway. <laughs> now, Jack, it's the start Jake. of every run, spray paints the train. Almost like he knows that the cop patrols that area. Now, why out of all the places does Brody want him to chase him on a subway rail line? Well, if you read the manga, Jake's mom broke up with the cop. Jake once came from school and saw his mom crying because of this breakup. So Jake wanted him to pay. That's why he chases him on the tracks, because that's where it all started. But the cops drew attention to ask why. The only way to catch Brody's mom is to catch Jake. But this is until... Now this is Frank. Some may think he's a secret agent, but really, he's Jake's dad. Well, Frank wants to take over, but the only person who can take him out is Jake. Brody is already one step ahead by messing up his contraption here, which leads to. Thank yeah, you. you already know I did my research based off the anime. Let's see if the comments thinking like me. <laughs> Bro, Frank is actually so fine. Who allowed this guy to be hot, shaking my head? Why are we all sipping for this guy? <laughs> They knew exactly what they were doing when they made this man. <sighs> now apparently Subway Surfers is a whole trend now. All I see on TikTok is Subway Surfer live streams. And now people are using Subway Surfers as gameplay to display a story. Okay, this is a little cool story from, you know, back in my childhood. Alright, so back then, you know, I used to be a little bit of a troublemaker back at school, you know. And, you know, my dad was getting a little annoyed by that. So what he decided to do is he got a lie detector robot. Now, I don't know how he got his hands on a lie detector robot, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, I come home from school one day. He says, son, where were you during school hours? I told him I was at school. Boom, I get slapped by the robot. I'm like, dang, this thing is for real. Then I tell him, okay, I was at my friend's house and we were watching a DVD. Nothing happens, okay? Because that's what I was doing. He goes, which one? I say, Kung Fu Panda. Boom, I get slapped again. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't get... So I tell him the truth that it was... It it was an erotic movie. You, you know, we're kids. We're kids. Next thing you know, my dad gets to lecturing. He's like, what? When I was your age, I didn't even know what an erotic movie was. Boom, the robot slaps again. But it doesn't slap me. It slaps my dad. So here comes my mom coming in laughing, you know, ha 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 ha. Well, he is your son after all. But then the robot slapped her. And, and, and that is the story on how my mom died. Because um, she, she happened to be on 1 HP. Um, I guess the robot just malfunctioned or something, but I don't know. There you go, there's the story. Bro. I mean, which is cool or whatever, but I've been rocking with Subway Surfers ever since they've been switching up locations. I think I remember Subway Surfers New York. Can't forget about Subway Surfers Atlanta. And at the end of the day, I say all this just to say, Jetpack Joyride better. <laughs> That's gonna be the video. Hope y'all enjoy. Hey, let me know how you liked it in the comments. And don't forget to hit that sub and no bell, you feel me? And other than that, I'm out.